In the metals quadrant, looking at a small relative bounce in the December gold futures contract. After dropping to a three-day three low this morning at 2651.60, gold rallied and stayed within the sideways consolidation it's been in for a few days. However, that little consolidation channel has started to take on a bit of a downward sloping appearance. The lower lows and lower highs are not consecutive lower lows and lower highs, but they are happening. We keep moving further and further away on a closing basis, however, from that all-time high. This is a very short period, and with rates having done what they did this week, this is still a pretty impressive performance for the gold futures contract. On a weekly basis, the gold market is only finishing down about a tenth of 1%, and that's only the first down week in the last four. The high today, 26.90.60, that was up 43 basis points. The low, 26.51.60, that I already mentioned, down 1.03%. We're still down about a half of 1% with a little bit of time left before the close. The Fed cuts are now in doubt for November. A strong U.S. payroll report pushes out a more aggressive Fed rate cut in November. 254,000 jobs were added with net revisions over the last two months of plus 72,000 jobs and the unemployment rate dropped from 4.2% to 4.1%. And if you go out three decimals, it was actually very close to being at 4.0%. All of this while the participation rate stayed the same. However, there were some losses in the manufacturing job sector. Seasonal effects in gold, with the festival season in China and India essentially over, gold is still sticking near its highs, and that's impressive and unexpected. Not because seasonality is the strongest factor, but this is a technically seasonally sideways to weak period of time simply because that the festival season for China and India is over, so the demand for physical gold slows down while we're waiting for the traditional holiday season that starts in November and goes through December to bump up physical demand again. So that's another seasonally strong period. And again, staying up near the highs, pretty impressive consider everything that's going on with rates and the seasonality.